going on guys? Ducks and Samar and I hope you guys are having a great day and today I'm in my hotel room as you guys could tell and by the time I'm done with this intro, we're already going to be through the entire hotel room. This is the bathroom, um, you know, this is the sink outside of the bathroom, another mirror. I'm wearing my Call of Duty Advanced Warfare shirt. That's definitely not why I'm in this hotel room at all right now. Uh, we got a window, we got a bed, desk, TV, couch. Uh, mirror like a little fridge and a desk. This is way too much for me I don't really need all this stuff, you know, it's nothing special But it's a nice little room for the next day and a half and I wanted to bring you guys a vlog And like I said, I can't really talk too much about why I'm here right now But you guys will be finding out in the next couple of days I'm super excited about what's going on here right now I have a lot of fun and I just can't wait to get some videos out for you guys But I have a lot of stuff to talk about today guys. I'm already losing my breath, but uh, you guys kept asking me what's going on with my team, what's going on with Phase Black, and I have been keeping it really low, I've been keeping it really low key, because I didn't know what was going to happen, and I wanted to expect the worst to happen, which is exactly what did happen. So, a lot of you guys were asking, you know, what's going on with the team, is Ake stealing your team, are you stealing, like it was a lot of crap just going through my head, a lot of drama, a lot of unnecessary stuff that I don't like to put over the internet but I'm just gonna give you guys my perspective on things and what went down and what my plans are because you guys keep asking me what's going on for season three so um, to fir so first and foremost to start things off yesterday I made a video and I titled it backstabbed and it was extremely short I just want to apologize for that guys I wanted to add a lot more to that video I had a lot of better ideas for it it was it was good but I wanted to add more to it I thought it was too short and I really like to make my videos entertaining I like to make them in inspiring you know insightful I like to do a lot of different things and Obviously yesterday I was pretty pissed off about you know what happened with everything and I want to let you guys know what happened so Basically, I was gonna bring phase black back and the only reason phase black isn't really a team right now is because we didn't qualify for season two so if you're not in season two, there's not really a point of having a team. We wanted to bring it back for season three. I got the go-ahead from Banks, from, from FaZe. They said that I could bring the team back. You know, it's, it's my team. I could do what I want with it. And uh, they said that if I could qualify for season three, then go right ahead and make the team. And, you know, after I got dropped for Nagafin with that whole getting dropped before the roster lock, the guys on the team, they told me that they regretted doing it. They said it was wrong, and they said that they didn't want to drop me and that they really wanted to play with me again. So... I said, you know what, for season three, let's make this team. You know, me, Apathy, Aqua. Let's do this. Let's make it happen. I'm sorry. Apathy was on board. Aqua was on board. I spoke to them both for a really long time. They both wanted the team. They were both down to do it. And then, um, for whatever reason, you know, Aches wanted to take them from us. Like, he wanted to take them from my team. So, he tried to talk to them. He tried to get them on their team. And they basically told Aches, no, we're going to stick with Doug. We're going to meet Phase Black. This is going to happen. This is a thing. And if you guys didn't know, I didn't make any roster announcement video. Thank God, because I didn't want to look stupid. I didn't want to make anyone look bad, because I wanted to expect the worst to happen. And that's exactly what happened. Basically, the team that I formed, which was going to be me, Apathy, Aches, I'm sorry, me, Apathy, Aqua, and Octane. Um, that was going to be the team, but Aches ended up convincing them, or the owner of Prof ended up convincing them to go back to Aches. I know Aqua really wanted to play with Pat, and um, I think Brian said that he wanted to play with me, but... Whew, I'm running out of breath. He wanted to play with me, but he also wanted to go where the best option was. And I told Brian straight up, if you go to play for Pat and Prophecy, and you try to backstab me again and do the same thing you did the last time. It's not as severe this time. This time I was able to form a team and, and do what I wanted to do, but it's still a bad move. You know, they already announced that they were gonna be playing for FaZe. They put it in their Twitters. They made their gamer text FaZe, and they wanted to make this team happen, and then Aqua changed his mind last second. So I don't know what happened with all those details, but Aqua changed his mind. Apathy followed Aqua. Octane followed Apathy and Aqua, and that left me again uh, without any team for the Season 3 relegation Tournament. So it's not... The worst thing in the world, but it definitely sucks. Um, you know, for it to happen once to me, to, to get dropped the day of the roster lock, that couldn't have really been any worse. But for them to commit to playing on this team and to say that, you know, dropping me was a mistake, that they want to play with me, and then to just go back on your word the next day, isn't a cool thing to do. And uh, if you're going to screw me over once, okay, you're going to screw me over twice, and I really need to open my eyes and, and to learn from this. You know, obviously, you always want to look out for whatever's in your best interest, and I completely respect that. But you got to also stick to your word. you got to commit to what you're going to say. And I don't understand if they think that playing with Aches is going to make them a better team. They just got top 16. You can't really do much worse than that. But I know that I want to win. I know that I want to be back on the top really, really bad. If I didn't, I would just literally quit right now. I'd retire, and I'd just focus on being a YouTuber, an entertainer, um, everything that I could do. It's really hot in this room where I'm just getting really emotional about all this stuff, but it's been making me extremely stressed out I, I literally had to like just let all my anger out one day 
Um, you know, it, it just been really, really stressful on my end, and I'm trying to do the best I can to get Phase Black into Season 3 because that's what I want to do, but there's not too many options right now. I'm going to see what I can do. I know Sin also got dropped the day of the roster lock for Killa because Killa got dropped from Octane Nation, so Roster Mania was crazy again. Hopefully I could do something. Hopefully I can make a team. I'm not really too sure what's going to happen yet, but I just wanted to keep you guys in the loop with what's going on. Like I said, I was going to announce the team of Phase Black, of me, Apathy, Aqua, and Octane, but they all decided to go back to Pat again for another time. So there's nothing I can do but wish them the best of luck. Hopefully it all works out for them. This is, at the end of the day, a business, and this is what they wanted to do. So I can't change it. I can't go back. I can't do anything different. It's just really stressful having to go through these roster locks, and it's really stressful for a player I've been teaming with for a year and a half, a player that I've won three championships with, to say that it was a mistake to drop me in the first place. Say that you want to team with me, and say that you're committed to this team, and that you're not. He specifically said, we're not going to team with Aix, we're going to team with you, this is going to be our team. And then to just go back on that word because Aqua wanted to go back to the team. I understand it, I get where he's coming from, but I would not do that, I just don't think it's right, and I think that we could have qualified me and Apathy with two other players, and that's really all that matters is for this tournament is just to qualify, because there's going to be a lot of roster changes again once uh, the X Games is over and the Season 2 teams and the Top 8 teams are free to move around, so there's a lot of stuff still going on, it's a huge mess, but right now all I'm focused on is today, and I just can't wait to get some more videos out for you guys, and I just want to give you guys this quick update vlog. And let you guys know what's going on, let you guys know my perspective and what's in the loop with everything with Season 3 and all that stuff. So, uh, that's all I really got to talk about today, guys. But, like I said again, I'm really sorry for the short video yesterday. I wanted to add more to it, but I literally woke up, started making the video, and I got a text saying, you got to get on a flight in one hour. So, I did the best I could. I hope you guys can understand. Uh, if you guys did like this video, drop a thumbs up on it. Let me know what you guys thought of Roster Mania in the comments down below. And, like I said, I'm going to see what I can do to bring FaZe Black into Season 3 because that's what I really want to do, and I got to go ahead to do it. So, hopefully we can make something work out. I still want to play. I still want to win and I will find a way to get back to the number one seed to get back to the top because that's really what I want to do and I'll make a way and I'll find a way to make it happen. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys support me, if you guys you know like what I do, I really appreciate everything. It means the world to me to know that you guys have my back and that's all I really got to say to you guys. Like I said again, I'm just really grateful for all the support and I hope you guys have a great day. This has been your boy Doug Sensamarin and I'm out guys. Peace.